This is an FRG ministry production with the support of our ministry partners and donors. I used to say something quite often, which now I still say, but I say it with fear and trembling. There was a picture of me and uh, there was a quote of me saying this, and this picture went viral, like millions and millions of people viewed and shared this image. And it said this, it had a picture of me there and, and a, my priest's clothes and it said this if I had a thousand lifetimes I would choose to be a priest in each one which is true because I love absolutely love being a priest I love serving the Lord I love to be able to proclaim Jesus in word and sacrament God has called me and I'm so eternally grateful that God called someone so messed up as myself to serve him but I have a little issue with that quote. If I had a thousand lifetimes, I would choose to be a priest in each one. And the little issue is the fact that it's not only about choice, but it's about calling. You see, God calls and gives us a vocation. He doesn't, he doesn't call every male to the priesthood. He doesn't call every, every female to be a nun. He doesn't call every person to serve him in a direct way. He calls very few, but the issue is that many are called, but few are chosen in a sense. Why are you you're chosen when you're able to say yes? When you're able to say yes, which is one of the hardest things ever. I believe that so, we're lacking vocations in the Catholic Church, not because God is not calling. God is still calling young men to be priests. But the issue is that a lot of young men are not choosing to say yes. They have too many options, too much to choose. And it's, choice is good, it's a good thing, but it can also be a distraction. It can be something that takes us away. We're afraid, in a sense, now to commit because we have too many options. Think about an invitation where before you get an RSVP straight away, now all of a sudden your RSVPs come at the very last minute. Why? And it, because people want to see if they have a better option than your invitation whether they feel like coming, whether they have a Netflix series that they want to watch at that time, or maybe they get an even better invitation than yours. And so they don't commit until the last moment. It's the same with God. Sometimes God calls and we don't say yes because we're looking at better options. And here's the problem again, like Netflix, you spend more time searching, trying to figure out what to watch than actually watching something because there are so many options, so much to choose from while you know, like I travel on a plane and usually I only watch documentaries on a plane if I watch anything. I very rarely watch anything on a plane, but if I do, but it's usually an option of three or four documentaries so I can choose quickly. But because there are so many options, sometimes we just scroll and scroll and scroll. And this is what we do to God, right? God calls us and we have so many options, but what if I get married? But what if I become a millionaire? But what if I do this? God, uh, God can use me in other things. And I believe that God is like, he, he's like a GPS, you know, route recalculation. Even if we don't choose the best thing that God has for our life, he still routes us back to his heart and he still blesses us and uses us in spite of not saying yes to him. But, if we did say yes, our hearts would be fulfilled and would be so fulfilled when we are able to say yes to him. Nothing will fulfill us more than saying yes to Jesus. One of the most favorite quotes I ever heard was a quote uh, in, at World Youth Day 2008 by, by the late Cardinal George Pell. And he said this, he said this, he was talking to 500,000 young people. He was saying, my my friends is saying, listen to this, you are better off, you will find more peace, you will find more freedom in one commitment than a thousand options. You'll find more freedom in one commitment than a thousand options. The world that has been offered so many options has been left with a lack of joy because we just stay with our options and no commitment. The point of what I'm saying is say yes to the Lord. You are looking for freedom, you are looking for peace, you are looking for fulfillment, and your heart will not find peace and fulfillment and happiness unless you say yes to Him, especially those who are called to serve Him. Lord, let me be able to say yes to you. If I had a thousand lifetimes in each of those lifetimes, let me always be willing to respond to your call to say yes to you. 
This production is only made possible because of the generous support of FRG Ministry partners and donors. Please go to frgministry.com donate to make a donation.